Second tournament semi-final, and first to make his way to the ring, opponents have learned that his kicks are just as lethal as his punches. From this Croatian national champion, please welcome Milan Brestovac. Thirty-one-year-old Miladin, the Scorpion Sting, Brestovac, ranked number five in the Glory Heavyweight Division, one and zero oh under the Glory banner. That was a knockout victory. Comes in with a record of 49, nine and one, 32 KOs, fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia, at Team Spartan Gym Zagreb under Alexander Pupats. He really sets up that left roundhouse kick with punch combinations got that very straight up and down european kickboxing and boxing stance and he uses that left inside low kick to keep Ardek Bowie off balance and to step to the right and throw that straight left hand and snap that left front kick to the body to set up that beautiful left high kick His opponent arrives in Denver as the division's number one contender and is determined to get another shot at the heavyweight belt. Here is Benjamin Adegbui. We are back for the second of our semifinal matchups in the one night four man heavyweight contender tournament. Romania's Benjamin Adegui ranked number one against the number five ranked Mladen the Scorpion Sting, Brestovac. Both men in their early 30s in the same height at a gigantic six foot six. The almost three inch reach advantage combined with over double the experience gives Mladen Brestovac the edge here, at least on paper. But Adegui's speed and boxing will definitely be the equalizers against the man from Zagreb. And Igbui known for his knockout power, 14 of his 20 wins coming inside the distance, especially courtesy of his right hand. Both of these guys can bang, and we expect fistic fireworks in this encounter. Let's go up to Tim Hughes. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, a heavyweight semifinal is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Fighting out of the black corner, a 2013 Croatian Fighter of the Year. His professional record, 49 wins, 9 losses, 1 bout scored even, 32 big wins by knockout. He stands 6 feet 6 inches tall, 1.98 meters, and he weighed in at fight time at an even 265 pounds, 120.2 kilos. He's here tonight, fighting from Zagreb, Croatia. Introducing Mladen, the Scorpion Sting, Brestava. His opponent standing on my left and fighting out of the white corner won his first three glory appearances in impressive fashion. His professional record, 20 wins with just three losses, 14 of those wins by knockout. Standing six feet, six inches tall, 1.98 meters. He weighed in at fight time at an even 258 pounds, 116.9 kilos. He's here in Denver tonight from Romania. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Gentleman, Benjamin Adegbui. And your referee for this bout is Tom Johnson. I'll go back to your corner for me, man. Go in your corner for me, Black. Go back. Colorado State Boxing Commission has assigned Tom Johnson as the referee. Brestovac riding a 12-fight win streak since losing to Adek Bowie in 2012. Adek Bowie, in his last glory appearance, went the distance but fell short against glory heavyweight champion Rico Verhoeven. All right, Judge, you ready? Judge, you ready? Judge, you ready? 
Benjamin, you guys ready? All right, fight! Bell and round one, they touch gloves in the rematch. Restovac in the black gloves, and Igbui in the white gloves. The last time Glory was in Denver at Glory 16 in May of last year, and Igbui knocked out Daniel Sam. And Restovac already coming out kicking, whether it be to the ribs or to the arms of Adik Bui. Both can be effective. A southpaw from Croatia with a devastating left head kick. Um, let me see. Sounds Reminds familiar, me right? of someone. Can't quite put my... Oh, yeah. The guy who punched me. Mirko Prokop. And in fact, oh. Restovac has sparred with the Croatian legend Prokop. Adek Bowie walking Restovac down, put him up in the corner. Adek Bowie has... Hired a new strength and conditioning coach, specializing in posture, staying balanced. He says he's stronger than he was against Verhoeven. Right body kick to the southpaw Restovac. Minute gone in the first round. Left body kick, look for that liver kick was Restovac. Yeah, that kick was actually a hip kick and that's gonna really hurt. And he whips that body kick into Adek Bowie. Adek Bowie with a shoe shine combination to the body of Restovac. Attacking the body like it's filled with candy. Restovac chopping away at the leg now, trying to slow down the oncoming Adek Bui. Left to the bread basket by Restovac, puts together a nice combination, culminating with a knee to the midsection. Inside low kick by Restovac, pinned along the ropes by Adek Bui. Restovac has got a specific game plan to not throw any punches at all. And there he proves me wrong. But it's all about the kicks for Brestovac. Yeah, he likes to throw heavier kicks to set up his combinations. Loves those heavy body kicks and head kicks. I think Bowie landed two really decent low kicks himself. And Brestovac made a big debut for Glory when he took out none other than Jafar Wilness at Glory 14 in his hometown of Zagreb. He would like to set up a rematch with Wilness in the final, but first he'd like to avenge a previous loss to Adek Bowie here in this semifinal matchup. Right now, low kicks are being very effective for Adek Bui as well to set up his punch combinations. And Adek Bui has spent time training with UFC light heavyweight Alexander Gustafsson. Gustafsson maybe the most talented light heavyweight in MMA without a belt, losing to Daniel Cormier in another spirited affair recently. Adek Bui though, versatile in his attack on Brestovac. A lot of damage to both men's legs here in a chop -a -thon so far, and that's going to be a problem whoever makes it to the final. They exchange low kicks. Ten seconds, listen for the bell, listen for the bell. Adek Bowie with a right uppercut on the inside. Adek Bowie continuing to unload on Brestovac as we head to round two. Tournament. I go back There's to Tia, Glory Girl, to corner corner. letting us know it's round Malbis. number two. Malpiece. All right. Second round, gentlemen. Fight. Welcome back. Round number two. Restovac, the South Pond, the Black Gloves. Benjamin, Adek Bowie, and the White Gloves. Adek Bowie got a relatively late start in kickboxing. Didn't have his first fight until the age of 26 back in 2011, but has definitely climbed the ranks quickly in four years. The number one contender for the heavyweight championship got off to a great start against Verhoeven in France, but then was completely dominated by the technician known as the crown prince of kickboxing. There's a left head kick that grazes the head of Adek Bowie by Brestovac. Adek Bowie with a slight edge in total punches landed, but a much better connect rate for Brestovac. And uh, looking at the kicks, Brestovac with a slight advantage there, Stephen. That's not a big surprise to me because the 19 kicks landed 
are very, very effective. And quickly on your unofficial scorecard, who won that opening round? I gave the opening round to Benjamin Ade Bowie because he outboxed uh, Brestovac. They both were throwing low kicks. Brestovac got the better of the kicks in the exchanges, but I think that Ade Bowie did the better work with his hands. Brestovac nicknamed the Scorpion Sting because he's a Scorpio and his left kick, well, stings. And it's Ade Bowie, though. Putting the leather on Brestovac at close quarters. These two heavyweights continue to battle in the high altitude of Denver. Both kicks blocked. Brestovac checked that low kick. But Adek Bowie putting together the better punching combinations, doing a better job of making that investment to the body. He really is. One thing I noticed about Adek Bowie is that Brestovac will throw maybe a high kick, then Adek Bowie will throw a high kick also to show him, hey, I can do that too. All right, gentlemen, fight. Brestovac comes out there with a double jab. Again, going to the body is Adek Bowie, kick from Brestovac, coming up on the final 60 seconds of the second round. We talk about Brestovac representing Croatia. Adek Bowie fighting out of Romania, born to a Romanian mother and Nigerian father. When he was, was three years old, he moved to Lagos, Nigeria. At eight, he returned to Romania with his mother and newborn sister, spending his childhood in a small town in Transylvania. The place, of course, made famous by Count Dracula. Both these guys are slowing down considerably. I think that that altitude is starting to affect them. Yeah, they might not be blood sucking, but the air is definitely being sucked out of their bodies here in the high altitude with under 30 seconds remaining in the second round. Adek Bowie and Brestovac. Such a punishing round for both men's legs. Nice left hook and a counter. Left from Brestovac, walks into that knee. Nice body work by Adek Bowie in the final seconds of the second round. That was actually a much more competitive round than the first round. Bravo, bravo. Start back in your corner for me, sir. You guys gonna start back in your corner for me? All right, it's third round, gentlemen, third round. Fight! Third and final round underway as Brestovac and Adek Bowie touch gloves. The Croatian Brestovac in the black gloves, the Romanian Adek Bowie in the white gloves. Unofficial scorecard belongs to the fight professor. And Brestovac almost did enough to win that second round, but I still gave it to Adek Bowie because he was crisper up against the ropes with punching combinations. The that was really close. The happiest man at Magnus Arena is Jafar Wilness, who dispatched Ben Edwards with a minute and a half gone in the second round of the first semifinal. Here we are into the third and final round between these two heavyweights. And Adek Bowie with the advantage in terms of punches. Brestovac with the advantage in terms of kicks, and you can see how close it is when it comes to the striking numbers. Just a barometer of how things are going in this heavyweight tilt. But here we have Brestovac with his back to the ropes again, eating a couple of low kicks, and Adek Bowie basically forcing the action. And Adek Bowie, low kick, left hand, Brestovac backs up into the corner. Adek Bowie pawing with the jab, outside low kick, Brestovac finally touches the canvas with his glove. He goes down. Four, five, That was nasty. Six, seven, eight, nine. You want to keep going? You okay? Put your gloves up. Walk to me. Walk to me. Ready? Fight. Tom Johnson allows Brestovac to continue, but for how much longer? Another knockdown in the round, and the fight will be over. Right head kick blocked by Brestovac. You cannot question the heart and guts of any fighter on the Glory roster. Brestovac desperately trying to fight back, but that lead leg, that leg is in pain. He's doubled over. This fight is over. It'll be Benjamin Adekbui battling Jafar Wilness for the right to challenge Glory 
heavyweight champion, Rico Verhoeven. He's known as Mr. Gentleman, but he didn't treat Prestovac like a gentleman as he chopped him down en route to the third round, TKO. And there's Attic Bowie receiving congratulations from the Brestovac camp. He's now two for two against the Croatian fighter. Any, what improvements did you see in regards to how he looked against Rico Verhoeven when he vied for the glory heavyweight title? Started fast against Verhoeven. He said that he may have started too fast, was overthinking and uh, we know, Stephen, over-analysis sometimes leads to paralysis. Yeah, that's true. Different opponent, though. Vladimir Brestovac is a kicker. But basically, Arik Bui set up his low kick with his punches and beat the kicker with his own kicks. And just blasting away with punches and then low kick after low kick. And Brestovac just couldn't handle it anymore. It's just so much devastation to the leg. There's so much pain there. It, uh, a warrior like Restavon stumbling over like that, he's definitely hurt. That's a big win, but how much damage did he do to his own knees and legs in getting that win? Because they, they clashed a lot in those exchanges with their lower limbs. So he will head back to the locker room and begin to strategize for Jafar Wilness, who stopped Ben Edwards in the second round. Attic Bowie finishes the fight in the third round. And we will break that fight down coming up later in the show. Again, a reminder for those of you watching around the world, you can follow Glory on social media. Join in the conversation at hashtag Glory24. You can find us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Glory Sports International. On Twitter at Glory underscore WS. You can get exclusive video content on our YouTube channel. Search for Glory World Series on YouTube. And check out the official rules and rankings at the website GloryKickboxing.com. Glory 24 continues here in Denver. Let's look at the stats from that heavyweight semifinal in the one night heavyweight contender tournament. Just about double the output landed by Arek Bui in the punch department. Knees wasn't a factor, but the kicks, even though he, he did not do as many kicks as Milan Brestovac, those were the things that did the damage and ended the fight for Arek Bui. I think Bowie setting everything up off of the jab. Right roundhouse kick. It was a slip though, but it still looked impressive to judges. Once he realized that left leg was hurt, he started going after it after these body punches and kicks. Really mixed up his game, I think Bowie did. Going to the body, but finally ended this thing with that low kick over and over. Vlad Brestovac in an enormous amount of pain there, even though he checked that kick. Going down like that, Tom Johnson, the referee, had nothing to do but to stop the fight, giving that man, Benjamin Adegbui, the win. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee Tom Johnson steps in and waves off this contest at 1 minute 47 seconds of that third and final round, declaring your winner by technical knockout, who now advances to the tournament final, Benjamin Adekbui! Benjamin Adekbui picks up his 21st career victory, improves to 4-1 and one with three KOs here in glory. The sport is known as kickboxing, and both finalists, Adekbui and Wilness, used those kicks to chop down their respective opponents, updating the brackets. It will be the Netherlands, Jafar Wilness, 
opposing Romania's Benjamin Adek Bowie in the final coming up later tonight. The winner receives the Ramon Deckers trophy and a shot at glory heavyweight gold.